and Tajuddin said, "Rubbama waradat alayk al anwar, fawajidat al qalb mahshuwan bi suwar al athar, fartahlat min haythu nazalat." Perhaps lights will descend upon you, but they will find your heart filled with images. And so they leave from where they came. Because your heart can't take them. The light needs a pure, polished heart to reflect. And then he said, Empty your heart from otherness. And, and he will fill your heart with knowledge and secrets. And from this is audition for those who say it's permissible. You know, what, the, what we saw the other night, hearing poetry and things like that. And, and Abdul Ghani Nabrusi, Imam al Ghazali, permitted it with instruments, even some of the great ulama. لطيب نغمات الغناء في أوقات السرور وشدد الفقهاء في إنكار هذا. In the early period, this was something that the egos, uh, lights of listening to singing, and in the times of happiness, and so the فقهاء were very opposed to this. فقال أسبغ لا يكون الغناء إلا في العرس للنساء خاصة. أسبغ, the great Maliki scholar, said. That singing or music should only be in a wedding with women. There's a khilaf. Some said that the men could also have that, but generally it was for the women. Bidafi or dufi wal kabar. Al kabar is the the two sided drum. So the duff is like the one sided, the tambourine type, and then tambour is the tambourine. But the duff and then the the kabar was had two sides, so they hit on both sides. So he said the uh, having a duff and a kabar hamalan. You know, leave them to their own devices, whatever they want to do with it. They can do awbi dhikrila, or they can do dhikr like they do the igyaun in Mauritania. They, they go to the wedding and they sing la ilaha illallah and other things. So they can sing poetry, doesn't have hamalan, you know, doesn't have to be dhikr. Or they can do dhikr, aw tasbihan, aw tahmidan, ala mahada, on those things that are permissible uh, the, uh, uh, to do. Or reciting poetry, uh, nothing with a munkar in it, something bad, or too going on for too long of a time where it becomes neglectful. Ibn Rushd said, we, we don't differentiate between men and women in this. They both can do it. Ibn Arabi says, Ibn al Arabi says, as for us, saying only women can do this, or that Dilhaya, somebody who is a notable, can't do this. He said, this, we, we don't accept this. It's facet. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's invalid. The, the Prophet himself heard a, a drum being, being beat. Nobody is more notable than the Prophet. So this idea that a notable couldn't do that is false. قَالَ عِيَاضٌ وَمِثْرُ الْعُرْسِ أَعْيَاضِ الْمُسْمِينَ مَا أَفْرَحُمْ And this goes not only for weddings, but also for gatherings of Muslims, for their Eids, for the times when they gather for happiness. And then he says, like when a لِقُدُومْ غَائِبٍ أَوْ لِوِلَادَةٍ أَوْ خِتَانٍ Like when somebody's born, you can have a, you know, the women get together and have these uh, baby showers and things like that, which they should do after, not before. You know, because you never know what happens. It's not good to do that. It should be done after. Um, because it's just more depression for the person. They have all these things and something happened in the pregnancy. Um, but if they do those things, so, and then he said, uh, or they memorize the Quran, or because some virtuous person's there and they're happy. Um, and then he said, إذا سمع سامي بالنغمات ذكر عتابا أو وصلا أو هجرا أو قربا أو بعدا أو تلهف على فائت أو تعطش إلى منتظر أو شوق إلى وارد أو طمع أو يأس أو وحشة أو استئناس أو وفاء بعهد أو نقض عهد أو خوف فراق أو فرح بوصال أو غير ذلك مما يشتمل على لبد السماع فلا بد أن يوافق بعضها حال السامع في مطبه so when you're listening to the audition, they recite different things. So you're going to hear blame, you're going to hear 
uh, meeting with the, or somebody who left, or nearness and farness, or a desire for something that's lost, or a, a thirst uh, to see somebody, something you're waiting for, or a desire for somebody to come, or some covetousness, uh, or yes, despair, or wahsha, uh, loneliness, or istinas, intimacy, or wafa'an bi'ahad, or somebody who fulfills his oath, or somebody who breaks his oath, or afraid of being separated from somebody, or joy over uh, uh, reconnecting with somebody, and other things. So these are all the things that are going to be in the poetry. So he's saying something is going to affect the person, because everybody's in different states. And that's the purpose of sama' is to affect the heart. فَيَجْرِي ذَلِكَ مَجْرَ الْقَدَّاحِ الَّذِي يُوَرِّ زِنَادَ قَلْبِهِ So the likeness of this is like a flint that strikes uh, the, 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 and ignites the heart. That's what sama' is supposed to do. فَيَكُونُ لَهُ مَجَارُ رَحْبٍ فِي تَنْزِيلِ الْأَلْفَاضِ عَلَىٰ أَحْوَارِهِ إِنْ كَانَ الْغَارِبُ عَلَىٰ السَّامِعِ حَوًا مُحَرَّمًا فَيُهَيِّجُهُ هَذَا السَّمَاءُ إِلَىٰ السَّعِي فِي الْحَرَامِ But if the person is not well, and he's got uh, haram desires, then the sama' can actually encourage him to do the haram, and go to the haram. Or if he has permissible desires, it might encourage him to do that. Or affect him in desiring something, or fearing losing something, or hoping to meet. All of these things... Uh, can happen, but sama is mubah. Whether whatever the sama, the one listening, happens to him is another thing because those are his states. And then, so there's two things you can get leather to nafsihi with the arqubi al safi rabbihi, or I can fi hadha al hal naqsun min jihati ma fihi min hadhi nafsi. So you can get some pleasure from it, like people have pleasure from music, or you can get something that causes you to connect with the attributes of your Lord. And he said, but there's still deficiency in it because the nafs has a portion of it. So it's not like sama' was something that they were saying was a great thing. But if that's how people get, feel closer to God, it's helpful. And it's been said, whoever knows what they're searching for, uh, it's insignificant, what, what, whatever they expend for it. So when you, when you know what you want, you're willing to, to, to give up things for, for that goal. وَقَدْ تَبَيِّنَ بِهَذَا أَنَّ السَّمَعْ قَطْ مَا هُوَ مَقْصُدٌ لَا عِنْدَ الصُّفِيَةِ وَلَا عِنْدَ الْفُقَهَا But it should be clear to you, Sama' is not some end goal, neither with the Sufis or with the Fuqaha. Then we ask, هَلْ هُوَ وَسِيرَةٌ Is it a means? كثير من العلماء ينكرون أن يكون وسيرة لجد وجميع الصوفية وكثير من العلماء بأحكام لا يتحملون عهدة أنه وسيلة Many of the ulama reject it that it's a means to being serious in your religion All of the Sufis and, and also many of the ulama of the ahkam of Allah they bear responsibility for it as a means قال القشيري في رسالتي إن الرذباري كان أعلم الناس بالطريقة من أصحاب الجنيد. إمام القشيري mentions in his رسالة that Rudhabari was one of the most learned people of the path of Imam Junaid's companions. وقال ليتنا تخلصنا من هذا السماع رأسا برأس. Would that we could get rid of this سماع without distinction. You know, in other words, this type of سماع is good, this type is not just, you know, would that it, we didn't do it at all. وقال ابن سبكي نعتقد أن طريق الجنيد وصحبه طريق مقوم والجنيد يقول السماع فتنة لمن طلبه We believe that the path of Junaid and his companions is a sound, upright path and Imam al-Junaid said سماع, this dhikr with singing and instruments, inshad, the type of things that a lot of people do He said it's a fitna for people who seek it out وراحة لمن صادفه But it's a nice thing if you just happen upon it It's not something you went looking for وَحَرَّمُوا حُضُورُهُ عَلَى الْعَوَامِ Some of them prohibited that common people should go. فَإِنَّ السَّمَعْ بِالنَّغَمَاتِ يَتَلَدُّ بِهِ الْفَاسِقُ وَالسَّفِيهُ Because they can have a bad effect on the fasiq and the, the, the profligate and, and, the, and the foolish ones. وَالطِفْلُ وَالصَّغِيرُ الصَّغِيرُ And small children. وَمَنْ قَسَرَ التَّوَسَّرْ بِهِ مَعَ هَؤُلَى سَامِعِينَ لَهُ بِحَضِّ نَفْسٍ لَا يَخْفَى مَا فِيهِ 
And those who are trying to get some portion uh, of listening to it, it, it shouldn't be hidden that you know their nafs has a portion of that. Then qasad al-mujarrad al-sama' la liman al-akhir tabarra minhu al-ulama. If he just wants to hear it as a musical thing, then the ulama have nothing to do with that. Tabarra, they're free of that because it's not. In other words, there's a khilaf, but in that there's no khilaf. All of the ulama are against that. Imam al-Tariq al-Junaid liqawri al-Tariq al-Sama' mujarradan huwa min al-Maftunin. Seeking audition just on its own without any purpose from it. These are people that are in fitna. Allahumma in kana kama qala al-Junaid. Illa in kana al-Amma al-Ghawgha. So as for the Ghawgha, and now we're going to get to the last uh, maqams. Three more. Now we're in the Dhalimun li nafsi. So they're very short, but very interesting. So he says, as for the riffraff, لا حسبة عليهم Don't do any hispa with them. Just leave them alone. وهذا هو المقام الثالث. مقام الغوغاء الذين ليس لهم همة في تحل ولا تخل حسب هؤلاء أن يقال لهم تحفظوا من الأوتار والمزامير وما عليكم في حسبة. As for the مقام of the rabble, those who have no himma, they have no aspirations, in either adorning themselves with virtue or getting rid of their vice. It's enough for these people just to say to them, watch out from those musical instruments you're listening to, even though we're not going to condemn you. In other words, don't lose your prayer. You know, watch out. All this stuff, all this, you know, all your games that you're playing, you know, your little, what do they call them? Those video centers, PlayStations. You know, and then you lose all your prayer, you know, 